Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Today we're checking out another VR accessory for your MetaQuest 3 headset. We're looking at some prescription lenses by Hans VR. And we're looking at two different options that they offer. Some magnetic clips and just regular clip-in. I'll show you both of them, unbox both of them, how to put them in, and I'll give you my review of them each in the end. I'll link below their website where you can purchase them. They're on sale right now for $50, which is a pretty competitive price in the prescription lens business. If you haven't checked out my other VR accessory reviews, I encourage you to do so. Let's jump into this one. All right, so you see two boxes in front of me here. Again, as I said, kind of in the intro, one is going to be the magnetic um, clip-on, and the other one is just the clip-on. So let's open both of these up. Let's see what we got inside. Business card. Got my prescription here. Blue light filter. Got a microfiber cleaning cloths. Let's we'll open that up their logo on it. We got our case and we have our lenses. So let's double check what lenses we have in here. These are just the clip-in lenses. I'll open those ones up in just a minute here. And we got a nice case here. Hard case. Zips up, we got a little pocket here, plenty of space, but nice and compact to hold those lenses if you're ever taking them anywhere with you. I'm assuming to find the same kind of stuff in here. So I'm going to show you how to install both of these. I'll compare the two slightly and I will talk about each of them. Um, and just Hans VR in general here in a moment. So here we have um, the clip-on lenses you'll see there. Let me back down just a little bit there. There is an R there, and now you can kind of see it for right. And then you can see maybe here an L on the left one there. So for these ones here, you're just going to take... I'm going to take the facial interface off just so I have more room to show you what we're doing here. There we go. I'm actually going to take this microfiber cleaning cloth, do a quick dust off of these lenses. All right, so this is the left one. So now you can see just by the orientation of it, how it should line up with your um, lens on your headset. I'm just going to give it a gentle push. Okay, we'll do that with the right here. Line it up. There we go. They're in. That's all it takes. They're in there. To pop them out, just takes a little bit. They're going to pop out there. That one as well. And it pops up. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let's take these magnetic ones. So I can drop it already. So here we have two pieces. You can see I'm spreading these apart. We have the insert that doesn't have anything in it. This is going to sit in the lens. Then we have the actual lens piece that is magnetic to that insert. This makes it much easier if you're going to be sharing your headset. Then you can easily pop the lenses out and in without having um, to unclip them. Although the, the clip ones go in pretty easily too. But with magnetic then you can easily just take them out. So what I'm going to do here um, I'm going to take this here. It has a little L right here. You probably can't see it from there. And we're going to press this in. There we go. You heard that clip right in there. That goes right on top. Now we'll take our right lens. We're going to do that same thing. Heard it clip in, and there we go. You're good to go. Now, as always, these are going to stick out a little bit more. You can see them sticking out there. And so you might need to adjust that facial interface um, depending on how um, close your face is going to be to those lenses, right? My prescription in my left eye is much worse than my right eye. I don't know if you can see the difference there. But that left lens is sticking out much further than that right lens. And so I'll have to back that up a little bit. 
and you can easily pop those out there. The base is still in there, base is still in there, and you're good to go. If you want to pop the base out, you just gotta, just like the other ones, you just get underneath a little bit, and they plop right out there. So in terms of size differences, so here we got right and right. If you're wanting to compare size differences uh, between these two lenses, make sure I'm getting another right lens, you can see here, go skinny side and skinny side, they're pretty similar. Almost, I would say actually almost identical in width. So there's not, one's not skinnier than the other overall, um, which I think is important to know. All right, I'm gonna use these a little bit um, and then I'll come back and give you my review of them. All right, before I get into actually reviewing the Quest 3 lenses, I just wanted to say that I used Hans VR for my Quest 2 lenses for about the last year and a half. Really good quality, I was really happy with them. That price point has stayed at about that same spot, which is really nice. They go on sale for $50 quite often with free shipping, which is very, very reasonable for prescription lenses. I've noticed that in the prescription lens realm for VR that there's a few new players coming into the Quest 3 realm here and a lot of them are trying to match that $50, $60 range that Hans VR offers. I haven't tested any of those so I don't know their quality but I can tell you that Hans VR is great quality, great customer service, definitely one to consider when you're looking for prescription lenses. So in talking about these we have the magnetic design, we have just the clip-in design, both of them are great, easy to install, they just push right in. Magnetic design is great if you're going to be sharing your headset with other people because then you can easily just pop the uh, magnetic lens is out and those little inserts will stay in. Um, the other ones, if, you, if you're going to be the main user of the headset, you can just clip them in and they'll stay there. And they're not too hard to take out though either way. Both of these lenses come with free scratch resistant coating and free anti-glare coating which is nice. You can add a lens cover for $6 if you really need to or you can add blue light filter for $10 as well. If you're interested you can get non-prescription lenses um, for $31 and I know people will use those just to put into their Quest 3 to protect the actual VR lenses that are underneath. Then you could also add a blue light filter if you are interested in something like that as well. So non-prescription is also a possibility for a cheaper price. Again, would I recommend these for sure? Great quality, easy to use, increase your um, comfort comfortability <laughs> when you're playing, great customer service. Um, I'll link below their website where you can find all their stuff there. Thank you for watching this one. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know. We'll see you next time on Brand Sloan Artist.